So today I'm going to share a really cool reusable face mask hack with you. I'm going to show you how to make these face masks completely customizable using the straps or the elastics. Okay, so you can easily adjust this to, for the best fit and best comfort for you. So let's get straight into today's hack by Mama Banana. So I have been making these reusable face masks. The pattern I followed is the one from Kim's Kitchen. I'll link that in the description box down below. But um, I wanted to make one for a friend who just had a baby. The problem was I just didn't know what length to make the ear elastics so that it will fit her the best because it's very important that the bottom here um, sits very snug under your chin. That will offer you the maximum protection possible. So I needed to make it adjustable and I thought it this way, all right? So what I did was rather than following the instructions from the pattern to stitch the bottom of the elastic into the mask, I left the string loose and then at the bottom here, I stitched in a buttonhole so that I can tuck the strap in and then my friend can adjust it to any length that suits her. Okay, so when making the buttonhole, you need to make this as small as possible. I made it so small that it was just about possible to fit the strap in. That means that the um, strap won't be sliding around. And if you need to adjust it while you're wearing it, you can touch it minimally. Okay, so I'm going to push mine in with my purple tang. So here's the hole here of the strap. Put the strap over it and then I push it through the hole with my purple tang. And then once on this side, you can easily tie a knot. And I've cut the hole so snug that um, when you're wearing it, you can kind of adjust it and pull it along. And then just tuck that into your chin there and the shunt move. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can cut a little small hole into your mask and just hand stitch around the fabric to stop the fabric from fraying. So the key thing to note is when you're Putting in your buttonhole, you want to have it as close to the corner as possible. That way it will fit your face snugly so that the mask can work as efficiently as possible. By using this hack, you don't there's no need for any extra materials, no need for plastic buttons or extra fabric. And I think that this looks the neatest because this took straight into a part of the fabric. So and to help any of the reusable masks to fit in even snugger underneath the chin. I have another tip for you. I sew on two little um, pleats on the underside or the inside of the mask like this, just under the chin for when you wear it and tuck it under here so that it again, it'll fit your face that bit more snug. So if you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by giving it a like and I'd love for you to support by clicking that subscribe button. And if you ring that notification bell, then you'll be notified as soon as I upload another video with a great hack or tip for you. I upload a new video every week on mom and home hacks organization, as well as reviews on smart and clever fun products for mom and kids. So if that floats your boat, do make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also um, leave any updates there on any further hacks and tips I have related to this video on um, masks. And in the description box down below, I will include a link to the video from Kim's Kitchen. That is where I got the pattern for this mask. I've watched a lot of videos and her tutorial is the easiest to do by far. And I find that it's actually the best product. I love the fact that it's a pleated mask, so it's the most comfortable. And it also has um, a removable slot here for the little nose bridge so that you get the maximum best fit and comfort. And there is a pocket here for um, a filter that you can add and take out easily. So until the next video, stay safe, wash your hands. Thank you and goodbye.